Guru Maharaj and Gadadhar Pranam. It says, on the shore of that broad blue ocean, Nilam Bodhi Tate Sada Svaviraha. Svaviraha. Feeling separation from himself. That's how it's expressed. Krishna as Mahaprabhu, feeling separation from Krishna. The supreme positive and the mood of the supreme negative. Plunging the depths of separation. Svaviraha. Kepan Bitam Bandavam in the company of his dear most friend. Who is his dear most friend? Gadadhar Pandit. Srimad Bhagavati Kata Madhiraya Sanjivayan Bhatiya. And what is Gadadhar Pandit doing to relieve the anguish of separation in the heart of Mahaprabhu? Told the tenth stage of separation is death. So Mahaprabhu is on the verge of death. Sanjivayan, but Sanjivayan, I told before, this one Ayurvedic mes- uh, uh, medicine, Kaviraj told me about, Prabhupada's Ka- Kaviraj, Krishnananda Tarka Tirta, Kaviraj, said this Sanjivayan, it will bring a dead person back to life. And we mean by that the recently dead. Sanjeeva, this rasayam, this med- can bring someone on the verge of death back to life. Gadadhar Pandit, Srimad Bhagavati Katha Madhira, is taking Bhagavad slokas and supplying them like, intox- like certain medicines or intoxicants, like an intoxicating substance to bring relief to the heart of Mahaprabhu. That's the Bhagavad Katha Madhira. Madhira means wine. So it means like that, like when a fr- someone's feeling uh, so distraught, devastated, heartbroken, and the absence of their beloved, another friend comes with supplying an intoxicating beverage they can drink and get some relief. In this case, what is the intoxicating beverage? Bhagavat slokas, selecting Bhagavat slokas. This is how perfect Srila Guru Maharaj is. This is his introduction to his Bhagavat Sloka selections under the inspiration of the Bhagavat Arka Marichi Mala of Bhaktivinoda Thakur that came due to the inspiration of Sarup Damodar. Right? Back to Sarup Damodar, Mahaprabhu Dutiya Kalevar, Mahaprabhu the Second. That Srup Damodar told Bhaktivinoda Thakur to collect these thousand Bhagavat sun rays. Bhagavat Arka Marichi Arka, Puran Arko Dunoditaha, Kalo Nastar Dishamesha. Like an 18,000 rayed sun, collect a thousand of those rays. Guru Maharaj was going <coughs> to further distill three, four hundred. But what would be the criterion for selection? That's all important. He's giving a hint in this sloka. As Gadadhar Pandit selects these slokas to relieve the anguish of separation from Mahaprabhu, or in some instances to augment certain uh, uh, sentiments, he's giving a hint at the selection criteria. Srimad Bhagavati Kata Madhiraya Sanjivayam Bhatiya Srimad Bhagavatam Swadayan Asru Payanai Pujayan. <clears throat> and saying those Bhagavad slokas are like, uh, or doing this, <coughs> that tears are pouring from the eyes of Gadadhar Pandit, like lotus flower offerings onto the pages of the Bhagavatam, where those slokas are written. And once they're spoken, and spoken in this particular way, with this particular depth of meaning, the tears are falling onto the pages as if they're flower offerings and washing away the letters. The letters are washed off, washing off the pages as if they were never to be spoken again or known in that way. Too sacred. 
So that when Srinivas Acharya approached Gadadhar Pandit, in the direction, divine direction, Gadadhar Pandit, for Bhagwat to hear Bhagwat, Gadadhar Pandit said, What I want to teach you, my tears have washed away those slokas. So you need to go to Navadvip and get a fresh copy. Of course, Srinivas Acharya goes to Navadvip. By the time he returns, Gadadhar Pandit has left the world. Why does Krishna do that? Why does Krishna do things like that? If not to take the heart to greater depths, to have us achieve a greater depth of heart, feeling, <clears throat> devotion, the deep heart's core. <coughs> Go Shami Prabharo Gadadhara Vibhur Bhuyat Madeka Gati. So Guru Maharaj says, So let this book be an offering to that best of Goswamis, Gadadhar Pandit Goswami. Go Shami Prabharo Gadadhara Vibhur Bhuyat Madeka Gati. That's the uh, target of the offering of these prayers. So, what is the position of Srila Guru Maharaj? that he can express such things. One day in the afternoon, there was Guru Maharaj in his chair and there was Guru Dave next to him and I came. Those were happy times. And I <laughs> said to Guru Dave, I, Guru Maharaj said, uh, uh, you know, when Achyutananda asked Swami Maharaj, what did Sri Dharma Maharaj say to you? He said, if I told you, you would faint? I said, I want to know what are those things. And Guru Maharaj said, what? And then Guru Dev started laughing. And Guru Maharaj said, what? What? And Guru Dev told him, he's in Bengali, he said, Goswami Maharaj wants you to make him faint. <laughs> <laughs> and Guru says, Acha. <laughs> and they start talking, like, going, what should they say? <laughs> Fainting sloka. <laughs> then Guru, Guru Maharaj explained this Gadadhar Pranam. And what I've said here is, you know, Bhakya Aparad, an offense. Can't possibly represent how. His Divine Grace expressed that at that time. But as he did that to me, I staggered away from where the two of them were against the wall with my head against the wall, like dragging my head against the wall. Losing consciousness of the world. And Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev, they're talking. I came back around 15 minutes later <laughs> to make me faint was like another, this little boy, send the boy away, <laughs> come back <laughs> later.